Uh, Pico, an incredible comeback, incredible game tonight in Tala. Uh, how does that feel to snatch that win right at the end? Ah, it's amazing. Look, it's very hard to be last minute winners, especially when it means that much. Uh, we knew before the game, three points was uh, it's going to take us a big way to where you want to be. And when you go till nil down, you saw sort of like have to trust yourself and believe that we can get back into the game whether that's the next 10 minutes or if we're the very depth like we did today and look it's an amazing finish by Rory and the celebrations just matched it was fantastic yeah the players did have to dig deep even to salvage a point out of the game did you feel if you kept going you, you could win it yeah definitely see we, we never say die like and believe what we what we do we'll, we'll win us games like and that's week in week out and we just need to trust the process and believe that our quality will show and, and something will come look the shells came with a game plan and they executed really well so you're going 2-0 uh, up it was a big mountain for us to climb but we just needed to trust what we do not get frustrated and carried away and i thought we did that really well we created chances throughout the game and we, we, we scored three of them dan popped up with two and rory's finished at the end this is unbelievable Going back to the first half, you watched on from the bench. Uh, how do you think it played out in terms of Shelburne twice taking the league? It kind of felt like their goals came out of nowhere. Yeah, I thought we started actually really well, like on the front foot and attacked the game really well. Uh, but Shells obviously hit us on, on the counter-attack and got bodies in the box and probably punished maybe some, some of our sloppy moments, which I thought were few in the first half, but they, they punished them. And uh, look, it was, I was watching on the sideline, but I think uh, everyone could feel it like that we had more to go and we came out second half and, and really showed it. I know you and Nia Grace have often had competitions of who gets the most goals in a season, but uh, Dan Cleary is doing well now, two for him tonight. Yeah, he's flying. I just said to him in his restroom, I said, look here, you, you came in late to the, to the syndicate, but I've no problem handing the money at the end of the season. If he keeps going the way he's going, uh, he's been brilliant, Dan, since he's came in. He's looked like he's played for us for, for two or three years and popping up with vital goals, so it's, it's, uh, it's, it's great for him. You came on late in Norway, your first appearance in many months after injury. You came on at halftime tonight. How did it feel for you to come back into action? Yeah, it was brilliant. Look, the 20 minutes uh, against Molde with Tom Parsley just to get me feet again. Like, and look, yeah, <laughs> there's never really ideal circumstances to come on this game. You're, you're, you're being thrown in and, and expected to do a job. And you just have to, to trust what you've, your recovery, trust what you have, have been doing like, uh, week in, week out. Like, and uh, look, we knew the three points was, was the most important there. So I just came on and tried to help the team and, and just motivate people. Rory Gaffney's winner at the end. It could be a big, big goal in this title race. Describe, I suppose, the utter pandemonium on the pitch and in the stands. Uh, incredible. Yes, it's, look, it's absolutely incredible. And look, these home games are going to be vital for us. Like I say, we can create a really intimidating atmosphere. And uh, when you're putting on this uh, goal like that, the last, the last minute of the game, it's, it's incredible. Like, um, yeah, sorry, look, I'm, I'm lost for words now as well. Like I say, just the emotion takes over you and it's a great feeling. Had the gaffer spoke during the week about there being a bigger picture in terms of how important this league game was, uh, but of course Europe is important too. We wanted to put on a performance. Uh, Mold again at home on Thursday. Do you feel we can get something from from Mold? Yeah, definitely. I definitely felt uh, out of all our home games um, at, in, in Europe, we can get something out of, and uh, Mold is no different. Uh, we'll have a right crack off them. Obviously, the, the league is our, is our bread and butter because we want to be back there again next year, but we haven't given up on these European games. We want to create special nights here in Tala in Europe and really try and make a statement. Like So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward now to the game Thursday, and hopefully we can use Tala as a fortress again and get a really good positive result.